Hi everyone, my name is Derek and uh, I'm just going to create a series of videos here to just explain to you about uh, heuristic data analysis uh, using data. And for this particular first series of videos, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, segmentation, targeting and positioning. Um, just understanding a little bit about what it is and how data is used to create a STP. So, uh, so now, what is heuristics? See, um, heuristics come from the Greek word of uh, I find and then I discover. Uh, it is a technique to solve problems uh, more quickly uh, when classic methods are slow. Now, when I say classic methods here, I'm talking about more like regression uh, analytics or even regression uh, analysis or, uh, you know, the classic uh, statistical methods. Uh, or if you're trying to find an approximate solution when classic methods fail, uh, this is uh, when classic methods fail to find any exact solution. So you have to know that what I am teaching you here is basically not the end all solution, but it is a quick, as I would like to call it, quick and approximate solution. Yeah. So it is achieved by understanding what your business needs is. Now, sometimes we want to create a solution which is fast and therefore, therefore uh, there are times that we may have to, you know, just trade off uh, optimality, yeah, completeness, sometimes even data accuracy, you know, if we have missing data or something like that, and precision for speed because we need a fast results. But not to say that these fast results are not good, it's just that it is how you make business sense out of it. Yeah, if you can call it, it's considered like a shortcut. Okay. So the objective, as I mentioned here, is to produce a solution uh, in a very reasonable frame of time. Um, but it's good enough just to solve problems at hand. You know, sometimes you have a problem and then you just need to quickly solve the problem in the data that you have uh, by understanding the patterns that are inherent in your data. Um, the solutions may not be the best of all. You have to do understand that because it does take a lot of uh, business savvy uh, judgments uh, when you create these patterns. Uh, but it does help you to create a fast solution, um, especially if you're pressed for time. Yeah, that's the important thing you need to know here. Now, first of all, you have to first understand how data itself become what you want, which is knowledge. Okay, so just imagine you start off with data coming in, it's raw data. So raw data comes in and obviously, uh, you know, from your collection of your data from uh, either online or, 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 or paper surveys, you need to take these data and you need to put it in some form. So what form do you put this in? You have to make sure that your data is targeted. Now, when I say data targeted means that create some form of target for your data that shows that it is in the form that you want it to be. Yeah. Now, when you have it in the form that you want it to be, you need to process this data. Now, pre-processed data just means that you clean the data, making sure that the data is complete in some sense. Uh, sometimes data which is not complete, you have to make sure that you also make some sense out of the data so that these data will then inherently become transformed data. Now, transformed data is just basically aggregated data or data which has just been analyzed, either whether you're using mean, uh, median, or uh, trying to find out the standard deviation or whatever, but at least it gives you a little bit of understanding of what the, da um, the data gives you a little bit of understanding of the population or the sample that you're trying to understand. Now then these transform data, you need to create patterns, okay? You see, data itself is telling you a story. Your um, objective is to uncover what the story is. And then from these patterns, you will be able to gain fast knowledge. Ding, you see, light bulb coming up. Now, throughout this whole process, the knowledge that you gain, sorry, the knowledge that you gain is very, very important. Sometimes when you want to stay ahead, you need fast knowledge. You need to find out what your data is telling you. You know, I, uh, who are my people that's, that's uh, uh, buying my stuff? Or who are the people that is uh, quickly buying or, or, or most, um, you might put it this way, the, the most uh, profitable customers that are buying my stuff. Yeah, This whole 
process is what we call data pre-processing to pattern recognition. And it is really about you controlling what the data tells you to, you know, uh, tells you at the end of the day. Now, let me just go quickly into what is STP, yeah, which basically stands for segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Now, I know that some of you are thinking, I thought STP is just a very marketing term. Yes, it is a marketing term, but that doesn't mean that just because you're not doing marketing, you cannot do STP. Now, breaking down the population to understand characteristics and then positioning your value. So I'm going to tell you these things. Break down characteristics and position your value. So STP basically means segmenting the market into smaller meaningful segments yeah we have a big population you just want to break it down into smaller meaningful segments okay it's the, imagine like a piece of cake you just want to uh, cut that piece of cake into smaller meaningful segments okay then once you understand these small groups then you have to understand what is the value or characteristics of these small groups for you to position your value now, once you understand the, the, the targets, then you can position your products or service based on all these target importance. You know, it's just like understanding a big group, breaking up smaller groups, then each group, you're know, basically understanding what the characteristics. Once you understand the characteristics, you understand what they value, and then you can position your stuff on these values. Now, as a business strategy, segmentation just basically identifies basis and segment the market, developing the profiles of resulting segments. In terms of targeting, you're just evaluating the attractiveness of each segment by understanding, most importantly, the characteristics of these segments, and then selecting the ones that most befits the value that you're trying to propose. Okay, Once you've decided on the target, then positioning means identifying the possible positioning concepts of all these targets. And finally, selecting and develop and communicate these chosen concepts. And these concepts could be um, not just products, not just services, but anything. It could be campaigns, it could be uh, uh, events, it could be anything that you can think of, even menus. Yeah. Uh, for those of you doing hospitality or even uh, uh, culinary. So think of an STP as more than just marketing, but it is also a business strategy. So the next video that I'm going to produce after this is to talk to you about basically in depth about more on what segmentation is just very quickly. And then I'm going to show you how segmentation is done on SPSS using uh, two-step uh, segmentation. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.